Hello people out in YouTube land. Look what I got here. I got a shiny new Expert Sleepers ES8 in the Bitwig edition. And this thing is really the missing link between Bitwig and your modular rack. What does the thing do? It solves a lot of problems for you because when you want to control with your computer, meaning with Bitwig, your modular rack, you need a specific audio interface. You need an audio interface that is DC coupled. And only a few of the audio interfaces on the market, actually I think only the Motu ones, have DC coupled output. And also with other solutions, you know, Normally you have a separate audio interface, so the module is separate and you have your other audio interface. And the problem with that is you need to somehow couple them. There are solutions, Mac can do this out of the box and for Windows you can use as you for all. But this is a little bit so nice and it gives you problems with delays or dropouts. So having added uh, support on the ES8 is really a great advantage and helps you solve these problems. Okay, and one thing you might wonder about is there any difference between the Bitwig Edition and the original Expert Sleepers ES8? Yes, there is. It looks much nicer. But beyond that, whatever you prefer, the feature set is completely the same. So moving on, what are all these inputs and outputs on this thing? So you have a USB connector. You can run this as a separate USB interface, but you can also extend the thing with more inputs and outputs, but also use it as an extender itself. I will get into that in more detail in a second. Just going through the other things. So we have four inputs, high quality inputs, and also eight outputs. So this thing is a full blown audio interface with lots of input output connectors. What you can do, first thing is you can run this standalone. For example, you have this thing in your modular rack and you go on stage. You don't have to bring a separate audio interface. You can just use the ES8 connected via USB to your computer and run four in and eight outputs with it. You can either use it for audio signals or you can use it to control your modular system. Second thing is why they added uh, in an outputs, you can extend this audio interface up to 12 inputs and 16 outputs. So you have a really big full blown system. And the third option is if you're in a studio, you already have maybe your audio interface like I do with my Steinberg A24 and you can extend that audio interface face with the ES8. So you have additional inputs and outputs to control your model, but normally running your audio interface you already have. So to give an example, if you want to extend the ES8, for example, you could use uh, such a Jeep Behringer, 8.8 ins and 8 outs, connect them. You also get preamps and all other things. So you have a very, very full blown system if you need that. Or if you want to stay in the modular world, you can also get from Expert Sleepers the ES6 as an extender which gives you also six additional outputs. There is also something called an ES5 which is a quite interesting extension which uh, you also can connect to the ES8. There is behind at the module there is a connector for that and this gives you triggers or more control volumes but to use that you need a specific plug-in which gets provided by expert sleepers. So you might wonder is the price really okay because it looks quite expensive but if you look at the feature set so having an audio interface of 12 ins and 16 outputs uh, if you look for similar devices the price range is pretty similar and also you need to respect that this is a boutique module so i think the price is quite okay and pretty only solution you have on the market for that problem so looking into the real deal what can you do with it so i have bitwig running here i have configured my input and outputs you see i have here my steinberg usb interface connected which provides you with two additional added ins and outs one added i have connected to my behringer and the other one i have connected to the es8 so i have here added the four inputs and i have added the eight outputs which i can use to either send audio to the modular system to mangle it or to send control voltages to it and uh, what i also did um, maybe as a tip whenever i load my default temp 
template I have all my hardware I use in a studio configured ready to use here and one of that is a modular setting there are two modules in Bitwig which allows you to control external modular hardware one is an instrument and the other one is a control voltage sender so let's start with the hardware instrument so what I did uh, I used the first two outputs to control the pitch so the first output of the ES8 controls the pitch uh, of an oscillator in my modular system and the other one sends a gate signal you simply select these from the list and uh, that's basically it then you can also say I want to receive this audio in this is the audio in from which I receive the the input uh, so the, the final signal in a modular system so this then behaves like an actual synthesizer plug-in which also runs in software but it's actually your external module and so I have a very simple sequence going in here and you see this is sent out with the pitch and, and the gate and gets the audio back in and what you also might notice is that the, the pitch is a little bit strange or off and this is here a really cool thing to do you just go on automatic and say please tune my modular oscillator so what Bitwig does now is it goes through all the frequencies and all the tones and notes in your system and tunes it to the correct values so however weird your oscillator is or behaves or temperature has a problem now you have the real deal going on so have a listen so we're set and ready to go and this is really cool going on to the next one so I can now send our modulation values so I have now selected the third output to control on my Belgrad uh, filter uh, to control there uh, the filter cutoff frequency let's have a listen so I can change here the filter and what is uh, now the really cool thing to do is you have also all the modulation options with these modules. So I can simply for example add here our trusty beat LFO say I want to modulate here in that range and we are ready to go and have the modulation sent out to the uh, external modular system and this is really nice to control and use and I think much much easier than all the other things and do you also have it synchronized so this is also a big advantage yeah thanks for listening and so much uh, for a broad review of the ES8 absolutely a must buy from my side and if you got it have some fun and make some funky music